Hello everybody, welcome to EVE Online. Some of you may have heard of the Battle of BTEC R5RB a few months ago, which was supposedly one of the largest battles in EVE Online, if not the largest. Uh, so today I've decided to go down there and take a look at the uh, Titan Wreck monument that CCP has created in that system. I will link some more information about this battle in the description so you can go have a look at it uh, read up on it apparently there's also an associated press article about it and I'll link that as well so as you can see I'm already out in Nullsec just trying to jump around down to VR as a few sovereign deep blockade units put up around the place obviously there's you know the self war still going on between various warring factions trying to take sovereignty in certain systems from the other side. I actually think I picked a pretty good time to go down there because on my way down, there's mostly not, nobody there. Also, as you can see, the interceptors now have immunity to non-targeted warp disruption, warp disruption bubbles and field generators. Which is nice because then you don't have to worry about drag bubbles or other warp disruptor bubbles that may hinder your ability to get from place to place out in Nullsec while there's a fleet camping just waiting for you to come through and they just destroy you instantly almost. You do still have to worry about targeted warp disruption modules such as scramblers, disruptors, etc. because they can still get you uh, provided that you are sitting in one place long enough for them to target you and turn on the module. So with the interceptors they're usually pretty fast the align time is pretty good so they usually can't get a hold of you anyway. Not to mention interceptors warp very fast, so they're pretty good for getting place to place in a short amount of time. I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead a few jumps. Alright, so now I'm in the system, and unfortunately I have to step away from the computer a moment, so I'm just going to warp to a planet and cloak up, and then I'll skip ahead to when I come back. Alright, so now I'm back on here, and we're just going to be warping to the monument site now. Oh, forgot I was still cloaked. Let's turn off the cloak and try that again. Warp drive active. There we go. So now here we are. It's going to cloak up again so that way if anybody else warps in then they don't immediately see me and come after me. So you've got the Amar Titan, the Avatar, the nice wreck that they've created. And this is what the new capital wrecks look like. You've got the Mimitar Titan, the Ragnarok. I've got the Galente Titan, the Erebus. And pardon me if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong. Looking at these wrecks. 
Just look at the, the scale of them. It's still so just majestic, floating lifelessly in space. CCP did a really good job on creating these wreck models, gotta say. We've got the Amar Dreadnought, the Revelation. The Moros, the Galente Dreadnought. Very large and very majestic wrecks. It's unfortunate that they are non-salvageable. That would be very interesting. And the description on these is all pretty much the same. So now we'll have a look at the monument itself. You see it has the list of all the names of people that were involved. So we'll just have a look at that. Interestingly enough, there's apparently some Veldspar asteroids around. It's for some ambiance, I suppose. We have the Imitar Dreadnought. Let's try to add this to the overview, so that way I can have like a list of them. Let's see if there's any I've missed. I believe there is. I've missed the MR carrier. And interestingly enough, there is no Kaldari capital Rex out here. So I suppose nobody used Kaldari capitals during that conflict. Which is interesting in itself. Uh, if you know why that the Kaldari capitals don't get used, or at least didn't get used, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. And then right about as I arrived back on the gate, uh, I realized I was going to leave a uh, RJ was here type can. Uh, so we're just going to go back and do that real quick. Now, of course, since I don't happen to have a anchorable secure can type thing on me at the time, uh, this can's just going to expire in two hours like any other regular jet can or like a normal type wreck. The wrecks they've created out here are permanent structures, but the regular wrecks would expire in two hours. But for me, I suppose that can is enough to get the idea across. Leave my little message. Videographic proof, so there you go. And now we're actually on our way out. And then as soon as I jump out here, that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.